Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're keeping well, etc. and so forth. On whatever day it is, Wednesday the 14th of Sept. Right, I'm going to be painting on this stretch canvas. I haven't just sewed it. It's uh, when it was manufactured, it was primed, which is usual when you buy a canvas. So uh, I'm just going to uh, get on with it. I normally do prime a canvas but I just couldn't be bothered at the minute I'd rather just paint so anyway let's have a look at my uh, glass palette I've got Payne's grey I've got some cadmium green with some red mixed into it got some cadmium red there some pale blue and titanium white and in the middle I've just got some um, zestit which is is quite nice um, paint thinner that's non-toxic and non-flammable and all the rest of it it's got quite a nice citrusy note to it as well nice smell so uh, it's quite pleasant so I use that because I've got no ventilation in my studio as such and plus I don't want to end up being poisoned so anyway let's uh, crack on we'll uh, get everything set up and we're good to go might do another seaside scene you know, I did one yesterday which turned out really well so um, check out my previous video and you'll see what I mean. So anyway, let's uh, I'll get me flat brush, not two inch flat brush, give it a quick wipe and we'll get going. Let's check everything's on. Stopwatch, two cameras, check and off we go. Right then, let's start doing. Might end up being a bit cloudy and horrible. I didn't uh, clean my palette after yesterday, but uh, we will see what happens. So just uh, do a quick horizon of sorts. Using not much paint. You know, I might even have some cliffs. For my seaside -y scene. I'll have a sea about there, I think. Mm. Yeah, we're all keeping well. I've had a good eventful day started a new job which was good fun it's something i've never tried before so it's all new to me it's all exciting right there we go it's a start put the basic plan down right let's do some sky let's give me a brush a quick clean <laughs> Not much paint again. Right, pluck some grey blue up here. Uh, Queen Elizabeth has uh, started the lying in state at Westminster Hall. I read that the queue is something ridiculous, like six and a half mile queue, which is insane. I don't think uh, I'd want to queue that long. Fair play to the people who are. That's, uh, that's dedication, that. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I think the longest I ever queued was from a bloody Covid job. That was about three hours. That was ridiculous. But yeah, six and a half, six and a half mile queue. Right, 
Boom, that's a start anyway. Now, what next? Get the right brush, get the long handled brush. Let's uh, plonk some of that red on, see what happens. About there. Looks like a mess, but hopefully it'll turn into something reasonably meaningful. Right, put some titanium white down as well. My big palette knife, about there I think. brush a quick wipe. Mm. Just churn things up a bit. Touch more red. Or pink, as the case may be. Another wipe. very historic week. I don't think it's anything we'll ever experience again anytime soon. Interesting shapes going on in the sky. A bit more red just along there. Which is quite helpful. Quite a big dollop of paint though, I don't need. Quick wipe. <laughs> right, let's sort this sea out a bit more. Still with my flat brush and plunk some of that green on. Just a touch. Some paint's grey, working fast as always. It's not looking too spectacular at this point. But bear with me, it'll get there, I promise. Right, another wipe. Check of the time as well. And we'll plod on. Mm -hmm. Bit more of that blue up here. Or bluey grey, I should say.
and we'll see what happens. Hopefully something magical. Yeah, I'll be, be watching the funeral on um, Monday, I reckon. I'll set some time aside to do that. I'm not working and I'm not uh, studying or anything like that. It's a day off. Have a look. Let's put some uh, titanium white down here on the sea. It's not looking tremendous, but I'm not going to give up. A bit of blue as well. And Payne's grey. Palette knife. Get the right one. Oh, if I'm done with it. God. Little triangle one I've lost. Oh, to use my big one. Starting to come together. I plonk some of the red on as well. Wouldn't have minded meeting the Queen, I don't think. I never had the, the honour. <sighs> Starting to get there. My dad's met Prince Charles on one occasion. I used to see uh, the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire quite a lot. They always made uh, a point of saying hello. I mean, the, the previous Duke and Duchess. I don't. I don't know the current Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. Is that the previous Duke and Duchess knew my mum and dad, and you know, if ever when we were kids and we were visiting the house, they always used to say hello, which was nice. It was uh, nice to see them. But um, I've, I've, se I've seen, you know, met the current Duke. I've never met the Duchess yet. 
And what happened was, uh, quite funny really, I was at um, Chatsworth Country Fair with uh, Mountain Rescue. And, you know, I'd been there all weekend and I was in all my Mountain Rescue gear and I had a red um, Low Alpine cap on, which, um, you know, it, we had this big bloody marquee set up with a kind of display stand and, you know, we do fundraising and everything else. Now between these, we, we, there's a row of marquees and our marquee had big guy ropes and the one next door had big guy ropes, you know, supporting the things. And all weekend I'd been walking in between these two um, marquees because we had a kind of chill out area behind the marquees away from the public gaze. And uh, each time I went between these two marquees, it knocked my bloody hat off my head. And after a weekend of this, I was starting to get really flipping cheesed off with it. So um, I was on a break, so I went between these marquees, and sure enough, it knocked my bloody hat off. And each time I'd curse and swear a little bit. And uh, so anyway, I went round the back to have a coffee and whatever else I was doing, and just a general lounge about. And. Um, I'd finished my coffee and I went back on duty and walked between these two marquees to take up position in front of our display, if you like, you know. And um, yeah, yeah, not me, not me flaming at off again. This guy rope and I swore. I said, "Oh, for f's effing sake." and a few B words and all that business and I uh, am uh, swearing and I went to pick my hat up and there was a row of feet stood around my hat if you like and you know there was a pair of wellies and some shoes and all the rest of it. Now attached to these wellies and shoes and everything else were legs and attached to the legs were bodies all in, all in tweed you know. So whoever these people were, were quite well to do. And I picked my hat up, shook it off and looked up. There was the Duke of Devonshire and his entourage. There was Mary Berry and um, who's that? Alan Titchmarsh. I know he said Alan Partridge. Alan Titchmarsh, he was stood there. All looking at me in all my mountain rescue gear, swearing with the mouths open like, you know. And uh, I looked at them and thought, oh crap. <laughs> I just wanted the ground to swallow me up. And I, I did a, a bow, you know, I, I do beg your pardon, your grace. And <laughs> I was, <laughs> went off and hid. <laughs> oh God, it was embarrassing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so yeah, I've, I've sworn at the Duke of Devonshire <laughs> and Mary Berry and Alan Partridge and all that business. Now, I'd, I'd heard of Mary Berry because everyone was saying all the weekend, everyone was saying, um, when's Mary Berry doing her bit? Is it Mary Berry? I don't know, the cook, whoever she is, and I had no clue who she was. And, you know, I can't say, no, I don't know, I don't know her. And when I saw her, I thought, oh, yeah, I know you, you're off the tally, aren't you? <laughs> so, yeah, bringing Mountain Rescue into disrepute. Right, anyway, I've been banging on. And we're just about, I have a painting. That little bit of local colour there is helpful, a little bit of red. Let's sort this sky out a bit more. I might get a bit more titanium light. I'm getting low. I have to uh, get some more at some point. It'll be my birthday and Christmas soon. I'll be on my 
Christmas list. Just put some titanium white up there. Take the edge off that red a bit, it looks a bit sickly. Yeah, Chatsworth Country Fair. Now, I'll never get, forget one occasion. Um, we, we used to um, go on the arena and do our bit. We'd have a couple of ambulances and we'd do some fundraising and all the rest of it. Now, th this was a particularly busy weekend. We'd been on several call-outs and, you know, I think we'd had two or three on that day. And we were all absolutely chin strapped. We were completely done. We were exhausted because of all these flipping call outs we've been having. So I, I looked shattered because I hadn't slept for a couple of days and, you know, I was, I was bloody knackered because we'd been out searching in the night as well. And um, it was my first time doing the arena bit. You'd go around and you know, the the announce there'd be thousands of people there. And the, the there'd be a bloke announcing on the tannoy saying what we're doing and who we are and all the rest of it. And uh, we went on to do our bit on the arena with the ambulances and all the rest of it and there'd be a, a bit of a stretcher demo and things like that. And um Part of what I did, I, I went round with a bucket and your, your fundraise because all, all the money for Mountain Rescue is uh, through donating, you know, shaking buckets. So I, I was in a big uh, grandstand and I was going up and down. People were, were literally climbing over each other to give me money. Now, the, the bloke announcing on the tunnel, he said that we've had, you know, X amount of call-outs in the past two days and we've been out searching all night. And uh, so, yeah, people were piling money in. I've never, it was extraordinary. I've never experienced anything like it. You know, when you, you're talking notes, you know, Ten pound, twenty pound notes going in, and this was back, you know, in the the earlier recession we had, you know, pre two thousand and ten, whenever the last bloody recession was. Lost count. I get that many recessions, and uh, so yeah, but people are still throwing money at us, and. Uh, Anyway, we'd done our bit and, and I couldn't get off the grandstand because people were still stopping me to give me money. And the round of applause and the cheering, it just goes right through you. You can feel it. You know, it's uh, it was an incredible moment. And I remember filling up because it was uh, quite profound because we'd re we really were exhausted. I was done in. It's an amazing, amazing moment, the generosity of people. Never forget it. Ah, anyway, this is coming on reasonably good. Not perfect, but it's a painting. Right, I think we're very nearly there. Dear me, uh, just some stuff up here, churn it up a bit. Not 
too bad. Now, let's have a think. Let's give me a long handle brush a quick clean. Let's check my various cameras are on, which I think they are. Just churn up this sky. Make it reasonably interesting. Um, uh, whoops, I just picked up some of the cliff there by accident. It's just leapt into the sky. That's not a drama. Beauty about oil painting. Thinking, I don't know, a lighthouse or something down here. We'll think about it in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that cliff out again. Just with my palette knife. There we go. <laughs> Getting there. Right, what to do? What to do here? Let's have a think about it. I'll put some white just over there. Now, let's have a see. Decision time. Decisive moment. I wonder if I just went like that. Just a little something, I don't know what. It could be anything, could be a boat. Some kind of structure of some sort in the sea, could be a ship, yeah that's uh, reasonably good, not perfect as I say but it's a painting, it'll do. useful lines and things on. Gives an idea of distance. Let's put some more things down here. Might, uh, oh, nearly knock me a uh, bloody phone off the tripod then. What's something there? Could be a person. Yeah, that is just a couple of blobs. It just fools the eye into thinking that there's something there that isn't. Yeah, I think that looks just about dandy. I think we're there all of a sudden. So what started as a complete and utter mess turned into something reasonably meaningful and good. So uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it like that. I'll put a couple of highlights just there. But other than that, I think we're done. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget I'm on 
as well as YouTube, I'm on Instagram and Facebook and johnkid.co.uk. And uh, yeah, just put my name into Google, John Kid Artist, and I will show up. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.